Sup, y'all bring you guys another video. Marlon Tapales versus Hiroaki Tashigawara. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing his name. But yeah, who do you guys think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So uh, yeah, this fight between Hiroaki and Tapales is scheduled for 12 rounds in the junior featherweight division to take place this coming Saturday on the 11th of December, December 11, 2021, live on Showtime over at the Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson, California, US. A in the undercard of Donaire versus Gabalio. So, um, yeah, Tapales versus Hiroaki. To those who don't know who Marlon Tapales is, he's a fighter from my home country, the Philippines, with a record of 34 wins, 3 losses, 12, 17 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. He's coming off an easy win against Eden Sonsona back in uh, November of last year. Prior to that, he suffered his first loss, or his third loss, I should say, uh, in uh, against Ryusuke Iwasa. Uh, where he got stopped in 11 rounds and um, here he is somehow somehow this is an IBF title eliminator fight the winner of this fight will be the IBF mandatory I don't know how Marlon Tapales got in the position after losing to Iwasa last uh, two years ago but somehow he's back in this title contendership status where he could possibly fight for a world title next if he wins this fight if he beats uh, Tashigawara uh, Tashigawara is a uh, fighter from Japan with a record of 22 wins, 2 losses, 2 draws, 15 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. He's uh, fought most of his career over in Japan. Uh, he's the OPBF uh, Super Bantamweight Champion, which is a regional belt over in the Pacific. And um, and yeah, it looks like he's done pretty well fighting a lot of Japanese fighters uh, and fighting fighters in Japan. And you know now here he is um, fighting a Filipino in Tapales. The last time Tashigawara lost was back in 2016, a split decision. Since then, he's been winning fight after fight, whether it's by TK or knockout, and he seems like he's a tough customer, man. Uh, and He's up there in the rankings, number 3 by the w IBF, number 4 by the WBC, and number 10 by the WBO. And I, you know, there's a reason why he's up there, even though he's been fighting uh, you know, mostly in Japan, but he's doing pretty well. Uh, Tapales He's also up there in the rankings too. I was actually surprised to see his name still right there at number four by the IBF, even though he lost to Iwasa. How is he? Here's the thing. How is he ranked higher than Iwasa when Iwasa beat him? That does not make sense. Does not make sense. Yeah, Ryusuke Iwasa. I thought I was, you know, seeing the wrong name, but it it's it, how how how. <laughs> anyway. When it comes down to talking about who will win, I've seen footage of Teshi Gawara and I'm liking what I see, man. I'm not liking uh, Marlon Tapales' chances here. Uh, I think, I think as long as as long as Tapales can handle the power of Hiroaki, I think he has a decent chance of winning. As long as he can handle the power, if not, it's gonna be a tough night for Tapales, and I see him getting stopped. Uh, but it's it's gonna be a good good competitive fight throughout. It's just a matter if Tapales can actually handle the power. If he can't handle the power, then um, yeah, Tapales will most likely lose this fight if he can't handle the power. Uh, but I'm still picking Tapales to win a competitive fight. Um, maybe I'm biased because I'm Filipino, and obviously I want the Filipino to win. But uh, I, I think Tapales should be able to win it as long as he can handle the power. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, but it's going to be a great night of boxing. Just looking forward to a great day of boxing this coming December 11. A lot of boxing going on around the world. Sucks that I have worked that night, but, you know, it is what it is. Let me know your thoughts and comments. I'm picking Tapales to win by close decision, seven rounds to five. Um, but at the same time, I'm going to be honest. At the same time, I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised if uh, Hiroaki destroys him or, or ends up beating him in a close fight as well. When I say destroy him, I mean, like, stop him, knock him out. Because I, I don't know. I, I don't think the palace chin is that all that great. But we'll see. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.